guys welcome to my newest video for today's video we are doing a video that I've wanted to do on this channel for a while since the last time I did one was 2017 and I don't think I even completed it but now that my collection is all organized again and I'm determined to keep my shelves this way now rather than change it up every like five weeks or so as the rate my mind seems to want to change tins. I thought I would do a complete collection overview and show what movies and TV shows I have. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to start off with just showing the general layout and then I'll go into my box sets and yeah so um basically my collection has changed a little bit since my last one. I have had to sell some things just um, for money and space and things like that but um, I do want to eventually get back into the collecting game even though at the moment money is still a bit tight and I am in the process of also saving up for a trip to Disney World so that's gonna take some time but um, we'll see how I go anyway but without further ado here is the collection overview for 2024 and I'm just gonna as I said start with how I've got things stored and yeah we should go from there so we have the first shelf which is mostly doctor who there's a miscellaneous collections in here like my disney pixar marvel so that the start of my tv show is over on this shelf as well i have more tv shows in here since i thought it made more sense to store them in this cupboard because I'm more likely to go towards a movie than a watch one of my sets and also because it takes obviously a lot of time to work your way through a TV show so I've got them in here and um, I'm going to be pulling these ones out I won't try and film in here because the lighting is absolutely terrible and then we move around so over here we have more TV we have some DC and like so and I just also have a random collection of Batman Funko Pops because I really liked how it looked so yeah it was meant to originally just be a Batman thing and then it kind of became DC um, the only one that's missing is my Superman box set but that's not going to fit over here so <laughs> but I do have that and then this is where my movies start uh, bit of an awkward angle but these are double stacked and I've also got sets up here so some TV and then over here I have more box sets and more movies and then I have more movies over in this one here and also starting off with my box sets we do have the sound of music this is the 45th anniversary edition it's down here because it fell off the top when i had it stored there and i don't want to, dem to damage it so it's just chilling down here for the time being so i have the sound of music and then this is sort of the start of my main box sets and franchises so we have the Forever Marilyn box set, the Godfather trilogy, the Hammer Horror Gothic collection, Harry Potter, this has all eight movies, and then I also have Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1 Steelbook, and then the Fantastic Beast trilogy. Then I have Indiana Jones. This has the complete adventures, but it's obviously not with the fifth one. I don't have that one because Disney has stopped selling physical media in Australia so if I want it I'm gonna to have to import um, from overseas and as I mentioned money's a bit tight at the moment so it's not a high priority one day I I will probably get it so um, just to have the films there and um, but in the meantime I'll probably just stream it on Disney Plus so I still haven't watched it because I missed it in the cinema and then we have the James Dean box set Lethal Weapon 1 to 4, Lord of the Rings Extended Edition Trilogy, The Hobbit Trilogy, and then we have Mad Max the um, original trilogy and Mad Max Fury Road, and then I have The Matrix Trilogy and The Matrix Re Revel 
Revelation? Resolutions? I don't know what the other one's called. Resurrections. I was completely wrong. <laughs> I knew it started with an R. Then we have Mission Impossible, 1 to 3 box set, Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, Fallout. Haven't gotten around to picking up Dead Reckoning just yet. Then we have the Ray Harry Housen collection. I think that's how you say his name. The Rocky collection and Creed. Then we have the Sean Bean Sharp Collector's Edition. So this isn't the complete series. I do believe there's a couple more that followed. But the main reason I got this box set is because Douglas Henschel is in one of the Sharp movies. He's like in the 13th one. I have seen the first one, so I've seen at least one of them. But I've got a way to go before I get to the one with Douglas Henschel. Um, obviously, I'm just keeping it in this box set over here because I do have a Douglas Central collection going, but it's just easier to keep it in this set. So, so yeah, so that's why I have this random box set of, um, the Sharp movies. So, <laughs> then I have the Basil Rathborn Sherlock Holmes collection. Then we have some Spider-Man. So, the Spider-Man trilogy, Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Then we have my Star Trek movies with the original motion picture box set, Star Trek The Next Generation movies, and then we have Star Trek The 2009 film. I have two copies of Star Trek Into Darkness because my steelbook got scratched, so I needed a new copy for that so I could watch it, and Star Trek Beyond. And then we have my Star Wars movies with the complete saga. Well, it was complete at the time. Then I have Star Wars Clone Wars. Solo, A Star Wars Story, Rogue One, Star Wars The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker. And then over here we have my Superman uh, box set. The Thin Man Complete Collection. The Universal Monsters Collection. The Vincent Price Collection and the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory 4K Collector's Edition. So those are the ones I have over here on my desk. And then I'll just quickly go over the ones that I have up the top here. So we have the Alfred Hitchcock box set right up there, the Gilbert and Sullivan uh, box set, the James Bond box set which has up to Quantum of Solace, we have the Sitting in the Rain, I think that was the 50th collector's edition, and then I have the Kill Bill volume 1, uh, The I think that was a Japanese box set that got released and we also have the Rodgers and Hammerstein box set with uh, the musicals on DVD. So those are that one and then I'll just go back over here. So this is my MCU film collection. Um, I don't have it complete anymore because I decided I no, didn't actually need to collect steelbooks, so I sold a couple of them. I do have, like, a few, but, um, I did sell, like, a couple of my, my more prominent ones, so I have to track down copies of the ones that I'm missing again, and, yeah, so it's not quite complete, but these are the ones that I have. So I have Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor... Captain America, The First Avenger, Avengers, Iron Man 3, Thor The Dark World, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man Far From Home, that one is Sean Chi. I think that's how to say it. Eternals. And we have Thor, Love and Thunder. That's the serial book for that one. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. And Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Then we have the Disney Pixar films that I have. Only one I'm missing is Elemental. And again, I have to import that one. So we've got Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, Monsters Inc., Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Cars, Ratatouille, Wally, Up, Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Brave, Monsters University, 
Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur, Cast 3, Coco, Finding Dory. Uh, I've realised what I've done. <laughs> Finding Dory should be between for Cast 3. There we go. Good Dinosaur, Finding Dory, Cast 3, Coco, Incredibles 2, Toy Story 4, Onward, Soul, Luca, Turning Red, and Lightyear. Then we have my Disney animated classics. So Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Pinocchio, Dumbo, Bambi. That one is Fun and Fancy Free and The Adventures of Ichabod, Bold and Mr. Toad, Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, The Aristocrats, Robin Hood, The Great Mouse Detective, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King, Pocahontas, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Mulan, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and that's got the second one as well, Lilo and Stitch 1 and 2, Treasure Planet, Princess and the Frog, Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Big Hero 6, Moana, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and then we have Frozen 2, Raya and the Last Dragon and Encanto, so I am missing a few Disney classics, um, but I will eventually make my way around to them. And then right down the bottom here we have my X-Men movie. So we've got X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men First Class, The Wolverine, X-Men Days of Future Past, and I also have the Rogue Cut, Deadpool, X-Men Apocalypse, Logan, Deadpool 2, and that one is X-Men, Dark Phoenix, and The New Mutants. And then, uh, to finish off my film, like for the first part of this uh, collection overview, I have my Douglas Henschel and my Andrew Lee Potts collection, so that I've got of their movies. So I have French film, If Only, Lawless Heart, Orphans, The Salvation, Silent Cry, and The Strange Case of Arthur Conan Doyle and Sherlock Holmes. And then down here I have High Speed and then a Disaster Collection. Um, I got this because Andrew Lee Potts is in um, Nature Unleashed Avalanche. And yeah, I thought it was cheaper at the time just to get the box set of this. So yeah, so that's the Na Natural Disaster Collection. Return to House and Haunted Hill, and the last one for this update is Stranded. So, when I do my next part, we'll be continuing on with the movies. This is probably going to be in multiple parts, so, um, yeah. But thank you guys for watching, and until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye!